What's up guys, it's FaceCast here, and today we are going to check out the legendary Quantum Polarizer in Survivor.io. It has come to my attention that you don't own an Ewan Racing gaming chair. If you want to change, go to EwanRacing.com, use code FaceCast for 20% off your very own gaming chair or gaming desk. The legendary Quantum Polarizer has a red skill called Quantum Ball X Quantum Ball Duration plus one second. And you know what? That's pretty self-explanatory. The duration of the Quantum Ball will be increased by one second. And that means it can potentially deal more damage. We are going to test the red Quantum Polarizer on today's daily challenge. Here it is. Bloodlust, attack, plus 30% when below 30% HP. And poison trap, random poison pools. You don't want to go swimming in these pools. And here is the soccer ball right away. We just need to find sports shoes. One thing you will notice is that when our HP goes below 30%, our attack will be increased by 30%. We are also wearing the red Void Waker emblem, which will increase our damage and our crit rate when our HP goes below 50%. So we can increase a lot of stuff here. We can totally boost ourselves. I need more soccer ball, please. Let's go open up this chest. Maybe we can get more soccer balls. There's a bunch of them on the left side, but we're only getting one. We are getting approached by a bunch of cavemen. We are also taking a lot of damage from these poison pools, so I need to grab this magnet, pull some loot towards us, and here are sports shoes so we can eventually evolve the soccer ball. So with use of the red quantum polarizer, once we evolve the soccer ball into the quantum ball, the duration of the quantum ball should be increased by one second and that should potentially allow it to cause more damage. Here is the first boss, the bloom spinner. Let's kill them before they kill us. I'll go grab this food just to make sure we don't die. And we are not using any drones. Croaky, help me. Don't die, buddy. So maybe we should find some drones. Let's go save Croaky first before we die. Oh gosh, we almost died right there. We are now going to kill this elite right here. It's just dancing with us and we're going to open up this chest. We have a five-star guardian. Okay, let's go open up this chest for good luck. We need more stuff. And here is the red defender. We do have the red tech part equipped. As you see, the tops are going to spin out and retreat back. They are also going to knock the enemy back the entire way. Here is the quantum ball. Okay, let's see. Is it going to remain present for one more second? I can't really tell. So what we will have to do is unequip the red quantum polarizer and then put a side by side of before and after. So I was able able to get a split screen going and the left side is with the quantum polarizer the right side is without this is also slow down it's very hard to tell here we can slow things down even more and we still will not be able to tell it's very hard let's track this ball it's gone it's split into a bunch of other balls the quantum ball is bouncing around all over the place and it actually seems to be pretty compatible with the defender while the defender is knocking everyone back the quantum ball is taking them out and here is the tribal chief boss you killed my frog man he's trying to jump on us but we won't won't let him get him type a drone get him it's your time to shine buddy you can do it there we go we got him with type a drone i'm giving croaky cpr come back to life we have evolved void power into gloom nova let's go let's go open up this chest as well maybe we can grab more stuff we're getting the exo bracer the high power bullet and one rpg let's go open up this chest as well we have about one minute left wow we're taking a lot of damage let's go stand here in the middle we are taking way too much damage i want the defender to knock these enemies back although it is hard to tell it does look like the quantum ball is is active longer than it would be without the red quantum polarizer tech part equipped. We have about 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's kill these enemies here and let's wait for the final boss. And here comes the final boss at the six minute mark. It is the crystal leviathan. Let's go kill it before it kills us. Here's a bomb. I have a bomb. But first I have to choose a skill. Give me one second. And Croaky is dead. I'm also almost dead. Connection. There we go. We're back. All right. We killed the final boss. I kind of missed it though. The quantum ball had the most damage. 33%. 30.2 2 billion and behind it was gloom nova 23.3 billion although we did not have much to compare it to we did not have the supercell or the 110 iron it still dealt a lot of damage what do you guys think of the red quantum polarizer let's hear it in the comments below and also where would you rank it on a tier list would you put it in the s tier the a tier the b tier i want to know so let's hear that in the comments as well i like it i think it's very effective i think it can deal more damage and i would like to try it out more with the exo bracer so if you want to see that make sure to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you later